This is something I've been meaning to do for a while. It's a home PC using um, the Esprino Pico microcontroller, which is this thing. Um, so the Esprino Pico has a JavaScript interpreter built into it. Um, it's got a, a REPL, a command line interface as well. And um, it's got kind of a graphics library. Um, it'll do VGA out, composite out. Um, and a whole bunch of other things. And it's kind of most of the way towards being like a fully fledged um, standalone computer anyway. So all I've done here is I've taken um, a bunch of these keypads, um, which are sort of 4x4 matrix keypads, and I've just stuck them to a bit of perspex. Um, on the back I've taken them to, um, to ribbon cable, which I've then poked into to some breadboard next to a Esprino Pico. Um, and I've wired them up basically as a big 8x8 matrix. Um, and then Esprino kind of unpacks that into a 16x4 and it's got a key map um, of what each key does. So um, so it's set up with a VGA output. Um, this is just a VGA cable that I've, um, that I've stripped back and poked the wires into the um, breadboard again. Um, so actually the blue and red aren't connected, green's connected and horizontal and vertical sync and ground and that's it. Um, this is just an old VGA monitor. Um, I've put a really big font in this but it's 320 by 240 so you can get away with a lot more text in a smaller font, it's just you can't see it if I'm videoing anything. Um, so I can I can type, I can start writing stuff, uh, you know I can do 1 plus 2 and get the result um, it's got um, like line editing, in fact multi-line editing, so I can, you know, I can go back and use the arrow keys and and change stuff and execute it again. Um, it's actually quite hard to see, but there are two onboard LEDs here. Um, one of them is used to tell you whether you've got shift. Uh, it's a red LED, which might just you might be able to see that glowing there. There's a green LED as well. So if I wanted to turn that on, um, there's command completion, so I can just write the first few characters and it will pick up what it's supposed to be, uh, digital right, LED2, one. And now it will be turned on. Um, you know, it, it does scrolling as well. Um, you can write functions. Um, and this console is um, done using Esprino standard graphics library. So you can actually mess with it if you want. So if I typed in g.philrect, and then let's go just 100, 10 by 10 to 100 by 100, say. And there you go, it's um, filled the thing. Now, it's actually, it is right near the edge because um, the VGA isn't aligned properly with the screen, um, so it's, it's all off center a bit. Um, yeah, you can you can do all kinds of things with it, and obviously that will then just scroll off the screen. Um, you know, it's a proper little home PC that you program in JavaScript. Um, in terms of assembly, um, there was a very small amount of soldering needed because I had to take these pins from here and bring them out onto the breadboard, so I had enough pins free. Um, otherwise, yeah, it took um, took a few hours last night to assemble. Um, took basically an hour this morning to write all the labels and all the keys and figure out where they went. But um, but apart from that, it costs about thirty pounds in components. These are about a pound each. Um, breadboard is about a pound. Um, the cable you could just pull an old one to bits. Um, and these little um, wires, they are about probably a pound or two pound for forty. Um, so yeah, it's basically everything you need. Um, really nice, easy, fun project. Um, I'm writing it all up. I'll stick it all online on the Esprino site and I'll put the, um, the details in the description. Thanks for watching.